Hello. So good to meet you at our global motivational meeting. We are reading uh, one scriptures book, this God words that inspire billions of people, families, communities, countries, and the whole world. And we'll help you to just read this quote and practice in your daily life. As uh, we're reading this holy book from the beginning, please find all the chapters at our message to billion channel. And uh, also you may turn on your favorite suggestion playlists that we have as suggestions and listen God words all day. So today God prepared for us dietary laws to sanctify the food we eat. You should not eat any abominable thing. These are the animals uh, you may eat, uh, the wolf, the sheep, the goat, the heart, uh, the gazelle, the roe, but the wild goat, the ibex, uh, the antelope, and the mountain sheep. Every animal that pairs uh, the hoof and chews the cod among the animals you may eat. Yet of those uh, that chew the cod the, of um, or have the hoof, Clover, you shall uh, not eat this. The camel, the hare, the rock, uh, bugger, because they grew to the coat, but uh, do not part the hoof are uh, unclean to you. And the swine, because its part is hoof, but uh, does not chew the coat, is unclean for you. Uh, this uh, flesh, their flesh, you should not eat, and uh, their carcasses uh, you should not touch. Or uh, all that uh, are in the water you may eat. Uh, this uh, whatever has uh, fins and scales you may eat, and whatever does not uh, have fins and scales you shall not eat. It is unclean for you. You should not eat uh, anything that uh, dies of itself. You may give it to the alien who is within you, pounds, uh, that uh, he may eat it. Or you may sell it to the foreigner, for you are a people holy to the Lord you God. You shall not uh, boil a kid in the mother's milk. Yeah, this was from the Bible, and uh, uh, what does God care whether a man kills an animal in the proper way and eats it, or whether he stains uh, the animals and eats it, or what does God care whether a man eats unclean animal or clean animal? If you are wise for yourself, you are wise, but uh, if you Scorn you a land so beat it from, from Proverbs. So uh, you learn that the commandments were given only to purify God's creature as it says. God's uh, word is purified. It is a protection to those who trust in him. Okay, this was from Judaism and further, let's read from Quran. All, all mankind eat of uh, that which is uh, lawful and worthsome in the earth. Allah had uh, forbidden you only carrion and uh, blood and swine's flesh. And that which has been sacrificed to anything other than Allah. But he who is uh, driven by necessity neither craving nor uh, transgressions, it is not sin for him. Lo, Allah is uh, forgiving, merciful. Let's read further quotes from the second guy, Messiah, Father Son Moon. When we eat, we should first offer our food to heaven and then eat. Likewise, when we see it, we should first sanctify the place and then see it. Good. Suggestion. When you sit at a table, you may enjoy the food saying, these are wonderful dishes you prepare today. You tested good, so you eat it. You think you know enough, but uh, you do not know how it was prepared. There could be many stories behind the sense. You do not know whether the rice was uh, stolen 
or from whom was it brought or what kind of people grew it and prepared it. Maybe the farmer who grew the rice once slept with your wife. Maybe the machinery used to cultivate it was made by a gang of your enemies. If you knew these things, you would not be able to eat. God knows it all. Therefore, he instructs you to purify the things we eat. Without cleansing and purifying the things we eat, we who earn for heaven while living in the midst of Satan's world cannot reach heaven. We use a holy salt to sanctify what we eat and wear. Since uh, the land we live in is not God's nation, God's sons and daughters should not eat uh, the harvest of the land without first sanctifying it. Would be that we lived in a land where we could eat freely of its fruit without needing to sanctify them? So powerful quotes. If you have difficulties, please watch on my time this video. Share this video as we end this billion happy life subscribers marathon. Contact me for consultation, cooperation, and become a member of this Heavenly Parents Holy community globally. The contacts are below. And the turn on suggested playlists. Listen this God's words all day and stay blessed.